On Monday, the trial regarding hush money payments involving Donald J. Trump is set to commence. Twelve individual jurors have been selected, along with six alternates, in preparation for the trial. Karl Rove discusses the implications of this trial for the former president, noting that as long as it lasts around six weeks with court proceedings four days a week, Trump's ability to campaign will be significantly limited. With the judge dedicating Wednesdays to other cases, Trump may only have Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays to campaign. This restriction poses a challenge for Trump's campaign, as time is crucial in reaching battleground states. Additionally, the financial strain of organizing large rallies multiple times a week poses another obstacle for Trump's campaign, as he lacks the necessary funds. Despite his energetic demeanor, the trial is expected to take a toll on Trump personally. Rove acknowledges Trump's adeptness at campaigning and making the most of his circumstances, such as recent visits to Chick-fil-A and a bodega, which garnered positive attention. However, he notes that Trump's ability to campaign effectively will be hindered by the trial schedule. Neil Cavuto also discusses Bill Barr's recent comments about the election, where Barr expressed his preference for Trump over Joe Biden, despite his criticisms of Trump's leadership. Rove adds that many Republicans and Democrats alike find themselves reluctantly supporting their party's nominee due to the unattractiveness of the alternative. The discussion also touches on Trump's potential to unify the party and the country if he wins the election, emphasizing the importance of his campaign message in achieving this goal. Overall, the upcoming trial poses significant challenges for Trump's re-election campaign, limiting his time and resources for campaigning, while also highlighting the contrast between him and Biden in terms of leadership style and campaign strategy.